Now I want to say a little bit about intercession. Pero eta no ngere mbugeho ku kintu gitoya kivuga kwinginga. Because uh, I, I was told that you are intercessors. That it's great that we are, you know, interceding for the people, praying for this church and the country and for the people. I want to say something about faith as an intercessor. Now, I have seen people pray like this. Um, they will say, Oh God, when will you bring revival? We need your help. We really are in big trouble. Please come to help us. Do not forsake us. Now, I, I want to say that it, you know, it's okay to pray like that. But the best is we have faith that God really knows our needs. That we know God is in control. So when we pray, we can declare the grace of God. God has promised to provide, uh, God has promised to bless the people. God has promised to do great things through us. God knows our needs. So when we pray, we don't just say, Oh God, please come quickly and work on the people. What I want to say is, actually God wants to work on the people. It's a problem of people that they don't let God take over their lives. That, you know, for instance, sometimes people pray for revival. Come, revival, Lord, bring the revival. Now, for me, my belief is that, as in the Bible, God wants revival. In the seven letters of Revelations, God really wants a revival to come to the seven churches. It's just that the people were not ready. They don't see that God is almighty and loving. And they don't see that following God totally will bring the best blessings. And, and they have different spiritual problems and they think they can <coughs> escape the eyes of God. For instance, they are weak, they are lukewarm. They think that God will not see it. But if Christians realize that being lukewarm is very bad for themselves. Now for me, I believe that God is a source of all blessings. If we love God and follow God totally, our life will go higher and higher. God will use our life to bless more and more people. So I have the motivation to serve God totally. So I have the motivation to serve God and obey God in every way. But many people are not like that. They think that God doesn't see their sins. 
And, and then they live in a very lazy way. And that's why they're not revived. But if you hear the message of God, God wants to use your life mightily. God wants to bless your life mightily. That you have faith to follow Him greatly. Revival can come to you in these few days. Or even today. You say, God, you, are, you have everything in your hand. I just follow you and obey you. My life will go higher and higher. Then revival has come to your life already. What I mean is, God wants to bless us. It's just people are not ready. So when you yourself are ready, and you say, Lord, you have a wonderful plan in my life. You can do great things in my life. I have faith in you. I relax in you. I rejoice in you. And everything I do for you, you are happy with. <laughs> then you have continual motivation. Then when you pray, you sing, you have confidence. God is hearing my prayer. God is blessing us. God is blessing the church. And then when people hear your prayer, they also will be motivated. Now, earlier I talked about provision, money. You know, I, I want to tell you that too. I have gone through difficult times. I trust in God's provision. But I also, you know, ask God to open the ways for provision to come. Now, for a period of time, I did have to work to provide for myself. But the time will come, you know, for instance, for myself, that I can, I can serve God full, uh, full time without pay at this point. That God can provide for me that I can go to different countries. That came from a continual trust in God. A constant good relationship with God. And obedience to God and willing to serve Him. So I'm saying God can provide supernaturally, God can also provide through our work. Now I go back to your inter intercession. Now I encourage you to pray like this. God, you want to bless this country. You want to bless this church. You want to bless our spiritual life. I know that you want to do great things. I trust in you. I know you love me. And I love you totally. I dedicate my life to you. And I know you hear my prayer. And you change the people. And you can use my life to change the people. We can bring revival to more people. Now you notice that my prayer includes a lot of promises. I hold on to the promises of God. That he wants to raise up people. He wants to bless people. So we say God is your desire to bless the people. So I can, so I can relax. 
I don't have to worry. Because the yoke of Jesus is easy. And his burden is light. I know God wants to, to bless this church. So when I pray, I pray with confidence. Now, even when it comes a time when there is much more difficulty than now in the future, that we believe that God has a wonderful plan, he wants to do great things. Then I will have confidence in God even in the most difficult time that my spiritual life can be strong and I can motivate people to love God more then I can influence people to trust in God more and obey God more. Any question about what I said just now? About intercession just now, what I said is don't pray. Don't pray like this. Oh, God is not helping us yet. We are in big trouble. <laughs> we really need God. Please come quickly. So it's this kind of prayer is saying God is not helping. God is actually helping. <coughs> when the people have opened their hearts to follow God, then God's help will come. Now, now.